How's it going everybody, Budget Pokemon here, and in this video we're going to be unboxing this Violet EX booster box. This is the first Scarlet and Violet set, it's finally here, I finally have it in hand, and I'm really excited to open this. But before we get into the opening, thank you so much for 200 subscribers, we gained 100 subscribers so fast, it's insane to me, thank you, thank you for everyone who did subscribe. And to show my appreciation, I'll be doing a giveaway once again, this time I'll be giving away this Pikachu promo. This was a promo for pre-ordering um, Scarlet and Violet over in Japan. So it fits with this theme of the opening. That is really cool. That's a really cool card. So all you have to do, just just like the last video basically, and comment your favorite Pokemon down, down below and I'll be choosing a winner in, in two weeks. And be sure to check the community tab because that's where I'll be announcing the winner as well as on Twitter. But anyways, let's get on with the video. And let's go for the main event. Let's put them like right here. Let's go for the main event, the Scarlet and Vi- or the Violet EX booster box. Not the Scarlet one, we just try to, to get this open without damaging the box too much. There you go. Taking off the foil. And these boxes are pretty cool because I don't want to be that guy, but these boxes... Like, it seems they make it impossible for these to be, to be like tampered with. Well, yes, you can reseal them, but if you're seeing this right here, if the camera would focus, you actually have to physically rip this off to open the box. I mean, I don't, I don't want to be that guy saying it's it's impossible to tamper with these pieces because I'm sure some of the some of the um, individuals, shady individuals, will find a way to tamper with these. But this seems to be like a pretty good protection method to like stop the resealing and everything. So let's put the box over here. Our first Violet EX booster pack. The first Scarlet and Violet, Violet set, aptly named Violet EX or Scarlet EX. And he says, rip into the first one. I should have gotten scissors. I opened the Dream League booster pack or booster box um, in my 100 subscriber opening and those packs were kind of hard to, to rip open. So hopefully these ones will be, will be better. Nice, there's our first hollow, and we finally see the new hollow pattern. I'm pretty sure this is a Grieve Ward, I want to say. Grieve Ward, that seems right. And we've got a Heracross. Okay, let me just put the bulk aside. And let's check out this new hollow pattern, because I haven't seen this yet. I'm not too sure what I think about this. I mean, this looks better than the one we had in, in Sword and Shield. But, I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like this. It looks kind of close to like the Sun and Moon era um, holo pattern, but not as flashy as that one, so that just looks like a downgrade, if you will. Anyways, Houndur, Magneton. There's an... is that... no, that's not a new one, that's a Florges. And Arvin, if I remember correctly. Those... he also has a pretty cool full art, like... Most of the full arts in here are pretty good, or like the full art trainers. There is, of course, the controversy about the... The, um... Whatchamacallit? God, I've forgotten her name. Miriam. There you go. The Miriam full art, like the normal secret rare and the secret art rare, those are crazy expensive. I mean, to the surprise of absolutely no one, what do you know? A female full art trainer is gonna be expensive. Yeah, yada yada. It's always the same. I mean, the the other chase card actually from from Scarlet that I am looking after or that, that I'm after is the Professor's Richard featuring Sada. And that one is, at the time of recording at least, like about $25. 25 euros, so that's actually surprisingly cheap. There is a spirit tomb chilling in the snow, kind of fitting, because it's it's snowing really harshly right now. Over here... We've got lots of snow. But yeah. The Professor's Research featuring Sada. Pretty cheap. I didn't expect that, to be honest, because once again, yeah, it's a, it's a female character featuring on a full art trainer card. But I guess it's just Professor's Research, and there's like so many prints of it. That's why it's not that expensive. Which is good. Also, I don't don't necessarily understand why the the Miriam is 300. Because from what I've heard, she is just the school nurse. 
in like in the games, so she's like not like a main character or anything. But hey, it works in mysterious ways. There we go. There's our our first double rare, an an Arcanine EX. That looks really cool. Nice. It is from Five Ban Graphics, which people usually don't like, and a rare candy. But that looks pretty cool. Do have to say. Let me just try to get in to get in real close. Because the borders actually look. Do you see the borders? That's like a really cool effect. It's like a shatter foil. But then it's also like super, super shiny. Yeah, dude, the double rares, the EX ones, look really, really nice. Okay. That's a really cool double rare. Oh, that one was ripped apart. Jeez. Like the. What was I? Yeah, the, the Arcanine, like the secret art rare or secret rare. The one that has like the white background or something. There's our first art rare, another grave art. This is actually a really cool one. I was hoping to pull this one and the Pachirisa, so we only get out one. We already have one of the chases. Chases down the Pachirisa. I do have to admit, like, um, Scarlet has better art rares in my opinion. Like, there is a lot more art rares in there that look, that look pretty cool. And apparently, to finally get to the point that I was making, is uh, apparently they've changed the texture slightly for like secret rares and we'll see which one we pull so maybe we can compare let's see there's our normal holo uh, let me just see what this is this is a pomot okay this seems to be a new pokemon that seems pretty cool i do have to play like scarlet or violet one of the two if only i would find the time let's put the rares like right here if only I would find the time. I do have a stream planned, or the first stream might have already been published. First stream might have already been published, and the second stream will come tomorrow. Um, for my, um, whatchamacallit, Omega Ruby Randomizer Nuzlocke. It's gonna be pretty cool, I hope. So, let's see, nothing here, Secret Rare is still hiding. Secret where is still hiding. Let's see. What is this? Oh, Mabo stiff Interesting looks pretty scary, dude It's too scary for me Still got a bunch of booster packs left Let's See where the where the secret where will be hiding and what it is I'm hoping for a full art trainer. I have a bit of a track record of pulling full art trainers from these. Whoa, that Pachiri. So there's the Miriam. There is the, the normal Miriam. Let me just go back to the Pachiri. So you check this artwork out. That looks super cool. I like this. This is from Ah Naoki Saito. Okay, no one. No surprise why I like it. Amazing, amazing artist. Artist. Super, super amazing artist. Love most of their illustrations. Let's see. I mean, any full art trainer would, would be pretty cool. Other than Professor Sreachers, and there's the Meridon. The Meridon double rare. This looks cool. This looks different than the... Oh, because this is not like terror, Terrorized or whatever it's called. Right, okay, so this is the normal, normal double rarity. And if you're gonna have like a Terrorized Pokemon, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. You get the extra texture, and this is just like the normal one. Looks pretty cool. There's like a few stars there. Looks pretty shiny. You see my light there? <laughs> but hey, it's a Meridon, so that's kind of cool. We pulled the we pulled the cover Pokemon. Speaking of Meridon, the secret art rare for for Meridon is also pretty cool in here. Like that's also pretty sick. Why do they even put a tab there if it's just gonna be ripped off, so you have to open the pack like this anyways? Why even bother? Why even bother? Anywho's, focus. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. What's the- ah, oh, just a- just another rare, okay. And a toxicity. Let's see what the what the other um, art rares will be. We should get two um, two more art rares, and then of course our secret rare. And one thing that I think I did mention in in uh, one of my uh, shorts videos, they've completely removed the um, the rainbow rares. Like 
there's no more Rainbow Rare Trainers, there's no more Rainbow Rare Pokemon. Which I think is a plus in my book, I wasn't really a fan of them. So, that they removed them is nice. There is our second Art Rare, okay. That's pretty cool, let's see. Okay, so here we have a Tyrontula. Pretty interesting illustration. This, like, this is part of another illustration. As you can see here, there's the Scyther up here, or the Scyther. And then there's like another Pokemon above it. That is actually a secret art rare. The Pokemon above the, the Scyther there. Or like with the Scyther. It's actually pretty cool when you put it together. So let me just sleeve this up. Really still hoping for the for the Pachi Re, so that would be that would be an awesome one. Oh the Toad School. The to uh, Toad School also looks pretty cool. It's just like running at hyper speed, it looks like. Really hope we pull that so I can show it off. That would be pretty, pretty cool. Chansey. And nothing. Heracross. Okay. So, nothing in that one. There's only one pack left on this side. I did pull the the secret rare. Like, if it was a full art trainer, I always pulled it pretty early on. Like, with the Candice. And with the Furisota Girl. I think I pulled that also pretty early, Furisota Girl. But the Candice, I definitely remember pulling it very early. There's another rare. Yo, that is a really cool illustration. That's a really cool illustration. Okay. And we have Arwen again, if I'm I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that name right. Or I'm I'm just mispronouncing the name. It's a completely different name. Just get rid of the booster box, put the boosters here. A whole stack left of them. Let's see where the secret rare is hiding and which one it will be. Also the Scarlet set. The Scarlet set also features the Guard of War, which I didn't realize up until I I bought the, the Violet one. There is our secret rail! Okay, not a full art trainer. Not a full art trainer, but we did get the we did get the spide ups. Okay. Not a not a trainer. But hey, there is our secret rare. Let me just check out the the whatchamacallit, the texture. Because I, I think the texture is supposed to be different from what it usually is. For now, it looks it looks like the same to me. I mean, there's a really crazy effect here. I think you can pick that up on the camera. But other than that, this looks pretty cool. This looks nice. Print quality also seems to be pretty decent. Nice. So there we go. This is our secret rare. You go right here, right next to the Miraidon. Let's open up our other packs. Now, we still have still have our art rare that we can pull and although although we have pulled our secret rare there is still the possibility of a second secret rare it can happen hasn't happened to me yet but hey that would be nice that would be cool but other than that this looks pretty cool like the effect on that card looks sick that looks absolutely sick let's see Art rare, hopefully the Pachi Risu. Revert. Have a Rotom. A Pineco. And we have Professor's Research. Okay. Nice. There's another rail. Another hollow, I should say. Another hollow. Let's see. Rip this open. There you go. There you go. Let's see where the art rare is hiding. A Houn Houndur. Got a Blissey. And an Ultra Ball. Okay. So no scopes for that one. Just trying to go through these quicklier now that we have pulled the secret rare. There's like no suspense anymore, if you will. Unless there is a second or oh, uh, secret um, secret rare in here. Nothing for that. Wow, the art rare really is hiding, eh? The lost art rare. That one is really, really hiding. Dang. Okay, Toad School. Just strutting about. And we have another EX card. We have the Iron Threads EX. Also by Five Band Graphics. I mean, why I love these... These EX cards. I am not a fan of the Five Band Graphics. Like, some of the cards they make look pretty cool. But I feel like it's just so saturated nowadays, like there are so many of them. I don't understand why they give them so many cards to illustrate. But hey, maybe there's like a lot of people out there that really love them, but I'm... <laughs> it's not for me. 
I prefer like hand drawn or like at a at a PC or whatever, however they draw them. I prefer these types of illustrations. This is really cool. The slow bro. Oh no, not the slow bro. The um Slowpoke, there you go. And a fortress. Yeah, I prefer these these traditionally drawn illustrations as compared to like the computer generated ones. Now the computer generated ones can still look pretty awesome. If done right. But anywho, let's see. Let's see if we can find the art rare. Not in here, it looks like. Nope. Not in this one. I'll just grab a random one from this pile right here. This one. And this is gonna have our art rare. Like, if this has the art rare, that would be cool. If this has the art rare, that would be insane. Let's see if I was right. Let's see if I was right, if this is the art rare or not. It is a hollow, okay. It is a hollow, but not the not the art rare. But hey, we got a hollow, so that's cool. Still a few packs left. Well, the art rare is hiding in the last one, as compared to the secret rare. So let's see, Toad School. Houndoom. We've got a Banat EX. Okay, so there's our... This might be the last... Yeah, this is the last EX card that we get. So we've gotten four, one of them being um, Terrorized. And then just like three normal. So this should be our last EX card that we get. There is, once again, I've said it so many times, one more art rare left. And maybe even one more hollow. Maybe even one more hollow left. But we'll see. We will see. Go focus. Very nice. Very nice. Nope. Just another holo. And indeedy. And Katie. The Katie or is it Kate? Can't remember. I cannot remember. Well, at least it's anticipation until the very end for the last artery. Eh? There we go. Okay. Yo, we've got the Toad School art rare. Nice. This is why I wanted to show this off. Just look at him. He's just trotting at max speed. See this? This looks so cool. Okay. That's that was pretty cool. We've got we've got like two of my art rare pulls that I really wanted. So this is pretty nice. Pretty pretty nice. Still three booster packs left. There's still the possibility for a for a, whatchamacallit, for a second secret rare, although, it is supposed to be pretty rare. Also, it might just be a, like, an arrow box if that happens, because these usually only have one secret rare per box. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just, like, an urban legend, you know? From, like, from, like, way when, when I was in school, like, all these urban legends, which never ended up being true. None of them. But you know how kids are. Whoopsies. There goes that card, Magneton. And Toxicity. Oh, and a Hypno. One last pack. Let's see what is in this last pack. No rare, just an Aaron. Or Arvin. And there you go. So, we've got this as a secret rare. The Spidops. And we've got these three, these three art rares, the Toad School, the Tarantula, if, I wanna, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and the Grieve Ward. So that's pretty cool. Well, this was my Violet EX booster box opening. I'm gonna just zoom in a bit right here so you can see the cards maybe a bit better. But this was still pretty cool. Um, the boxes are pretty expensive, so I probably won't be opening another one. I was gonna say buy some singles, but you have the Miriam, which is kind of expensive, so maybe buying singles isn't the way to go either. But anyways, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, then a like and a sub would be appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.